In this video, I'm going to teach you how to migrate email accounts to Hostinger. If you've recently decided to move your email hosting to Hostinger, you're in the right place. We'll walk through each step, making sure your transition is as smooth and seamless as possible. So let's dive right in and get started. First, you'll want to log in to your Hostinger control panel. This is your mission control for everything we're going to do today. Once you're in, create new email accounts here that match the ones you had with your previous provider. For instance, if you had an email like support at yourdomain.com, you'll recreate that here to maintain continuity and avoid any confusion down the line. Now, let's recreate any additional configurations you had before. Look at features like forwarders, autoresponders, and email signatures. It's important to set these up again in Hostinger as they won't automatically transfer. Think of it as packing your bags for a trip, ensuring everything you need is in place for the journey ahead. The next step is crucial, configuring your domain's DNS records. In your domain's DNS zone, you'll want to add Hostinger's specific MX, SPF, and DKIM records. This might sound technical, but don't worry. These records help manage your email delivery and security, ensuring that your emails go right where they need to. Remember to remove any existing records from your old provider to prevent any confusion or conflicts. After you've updated your DNS, there's a waiting game. DNS changes can take up to 24 hours to propagate across the internet. During this time, you can use a tool like DNS Checker to monitor the progress. Once you see confirmations like green check marks across different locations, it means the propagation is complete. With DNS out of the way, it's time to migrate your existing email messages. You have a few options here. Either by using Hostinger's email import tool, their webmail interface, or an IMAP sync tool. Choose the method that best fits your needs. Make sure your new mailbox has enough space, especially if you're moving large files. Finally, reconfigure any devices or email clients. Whether you're using Outlook, Thunderbird, or mobile apps, update their settings to match Hostinger's parameters. If you previously used a different webmail service, switch over to Hostinger's webmail interface at this stage. And there you have it you've successfully migrated your email accounts to Hostinger. If you enjoyed this guide or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with others who might benefit, and subscribe to our channel for more straightforward advice. Thanks for tuning in and see you in the next video.